Okay, so what we're going to look at now is updates and drivers. Uh, so we'll do drivers first. To start to get them going, all you need to do is go to System and then Administration and then click on Additional Drivers. Uh, what this will do is it'll search locally, so on your computer, and also search the internet for any drivers that uh, would suit the hardware that you have. Uh, by default, Ubuntu comes with a lot of drivers that will suit probably 90% of the hardware you might have. Um, but for things like graphics cards and network cards, you often need to install additional things. So as you can see here, it's found a couple of drivers that'll suit my graphics card. Uh, one of them, this one with the green dot next to it, I've already got installed or activated. Uh, what that has allowed me to do is all the desktop effects uh, that we talked about earlier. Uh, there is also this one, slightly different version. Uh, I've tested this one and fi found that it's not exactly 100% smooth for my computer. So I've decided to stick with the recommended one here. Um, to install a driver, all you need to do is select it, and then hit activate, and um, Ubuntu will prompt you for a password, then sort it out from there. Uh, same goes for things like network cards, which are often, often a bit of a problem. Uh, if you don't find drivers for your network cards here, you would probably need to check out Launchpad, uh, the Ubuntu section in Launchpad for some help on that one because the, the solutions do differ from network card to network card. And next up is the update manager, so same spot, uh, system, administration, then down to update manager, and this will do the same thing as the drivers, it'll check its known locations for new updates. Uh, if there are any, it'll tell you, of course. Uh, I've not found any here because I've just updated my system about half an hour ago. Uh, if there were, you'd just see a list from here with checkboxes next, next to them. Uh, by default, they would all be checked. You can go through and check, uh, uncheck or check the ones that you want or don't want, and then just hit install, and it will again it'll prompt you for a password and do that all by itself.